and the Bears, who were out early onto the field. Conlon, Kiss, Florimo, Jackson, Halligan, Martin, Soden are the backs. The forwards of Moore, Larson, Fennick, Tool, Ray Jarvis, the coaches, Steve Martin. Now the minor premiers, Barwick at fullback, Mackay, Izzard, Fittler, Smith, Carter, Alexander, Vanderbilt, Walker, Guy, Dunn, Simmons, Clark, the coaches, Phil Gould. The referee for this major semi-final and the chance to the grand final this season is Eddie Ward. Nil all, the Bears and the Panthers. Jackson, nobody in that area. Just a little bit too long to kick, though. He had chases. It's set up nicely for Barwick to put Smith away down the sideline. Now he hunts in field. Finished off over the top by Jackson. Clark. Eddie Ward had played a fairly long advantage. And now he gives the penalty right in midfield. Meets it beautifully. Straight down the barrel. The minor premiers grab the early break. It is 2-0 over Norths. Hand over for the Bears in excellent position. Oh, down a blind side. Right on the 22, plenty of tackles up their sleeve. Jarvis, they look to be just setting up. Some easy plays towards the posts. Jackson is going in behind the play of the ball. Billy Moore is there. Adrian Toole sets himself. Crisscross play. Jackson up the middle and nearly got through too. They set it up beautifully now. Tony Ray from dummy half. He's just short. Last tackle. So he hammered the ball. And standing at silly mid-off was Barry Walker. You can put that down to reflexes because he never had any time to think about it. I put it down to luck, Bill. Anybody who feels there wears a helmet. Great take from Barry Walker. He just drilled it, so bang, straight into him. A oh, great reaction. This is just the setup. There's something to come. Way offside on the blind side, Penrith, but that's where North Sydney switch it. Billy Moore got a ball away. If it had have been a good one, Florimo was into a half gap. Soden, Ray, Larson. Somebody's got to run. They were all standing too flat. Now they do Martin. That went forward, I think. It did. David Hall brought everybody to their feet. But now they'll all sit back down as they come back to where Eddie Wood spotted the forward. A good, strong line of defence in front of them. Talking of tackles, those missed tackles going against the Bears, 6-4. And you contrast that with the number of missed tackles yesterday, and you can see that there's two completely different styles of play. Yesterday, both teams were prepared to throw the ball around in their own territory. Today, both teams prepared to work for field position and content to set up for plays later on in the match. Fittler. And maybe a dash of individual brilliance, Wayne. Yeah, certainly uh, that's going to come into it, and I suppose on that front, you've got to say that Penrith have got more individual match winners than Norse. Here's a chance on the wings. Mackay. Inside, so Mackay was plenty of support. Alexander under the post. There's no doubt about it. They can do it just like Canberra. Halligan to get things underway. That was crucial because the field position was starting to go North's way, and then out of nowhere, Penrith strike at them. Paul Smith. So costly yesterday for Manly against Canberra. The try just before half time and a try just after half time proved the big, big difference. Guy with a strong run. There's a handful when he winds up. Then Alexander. Right on halfway now, Penrith. Fittler. He comes into his own. Gets it back. Ben Alexander. Taken by Fennick. Crowd thinking that that one was high as well. Alexander. Inside. Walker. Back to Alexander. 
North's in trouble here just before half time. They're in a ton of trouble. No doubt about it. The minor premiers have locked into top gear. And having a big hand in it all is Greg Alexander. Looking to keep the 100% record going. Here he is at the Sydney Beach. Zeke at all. He won't bring this one round though, he's left it out wide. But the siren sounds for a strong performance from the minor premiers. Soden again, more running very flat and again putting pressure on the man on the inside, nearly making that one forward. 12-0 to Penrith. Tool upended by Ben Alexander. Fennick. No success down the blind side. David Hall from dummy half. Last tackle. So taken nicely by Zurub. Good space. He goes across the paddock. Unbelievable. If they wanted a rev up, it has been provided by Penrith. The major semi-final and the minor premiers give Norths a chance to climb back. Maybe that will start them. It's a game where you've got to take your chances where they come and Anthony Zurev tried something there, it never came off. Halligan with this goal, the one that can break the record for the North Sydney Rugby League club that was set back in the 60s by Fred Grevis. He's got it and the record. What a year for the Bears and Daryl Halligan. They're back in the major semi. It's 12-6. The crowd has really set up a roar now and a good crowd too. 38,635. Done. Vanderbilt without it. Alexander, Ben Alexander goes back to the blind side. If all had been watching the ball and not the man, he had the intercept. He was determined to stop them in defence. Now Guy went through as a decoy. Some of the Norse players claiming a shepherd. Alexander trapped down, not finished off. He looked at Ward, he stopped. Carla, quick hands. This time it's knocked down by Hall. Was he offside? Now was Lorimo in front of Hall? The ball was definitely knocked down, but was this man in an offside position? The ball knocked down, Florimo there to pick it up. Now there's the pass from Geyer. It's gone forward. Hall was the man that put his hand to it. I thought Florimo came from behind. That replay didn't really show it. No, I thought Florimo was definitely offside. I saw it... Uh, uh, as it happened, and uh, he was definitely in an offside position. Two from three for Greg Alexander. Vital kick in this major semi. He handles it beautifully. The Panthers edge away. More work coming for the Bears. 14 to six. Last tackle. Jackson calls for it, looking for the bomb. Away it goes. Alexander loses it, they got six more. Now then, there is a real chance for the Bears now. Jones. Soden. Losing his balance just for a second. Right in front of the post. Ray marshals the troops. Goes to Fennick. He sets it up, tries to turn his back and unload, but he's wrapped up. Eight metres out. Penrith trying to hang on out wide. The kick, Paul's coming, Zurab's there. Zurab's too late, they get it. The Bears make a second comeback. They start to dig deep, the minor premiers. Greg Alexander, who always holds the key for them. The kick down to Conlon. 
and a change for Penrith Graham. Anthony Zurid was off the paddock and uh, he's been replaced by Roy Simmons. We'll have to watch for the positional changes at the moment. As Zurab goes back to the bench, Greg Alexander goes to fullback. And Ben to halfback and Royce to hooker. Two. Alexander has spent a lot of time there in that position for this Penrith club. Billy Moore on the fringe. That's better support. Jackson, where's the support for him? He beats Alexander easily. He gets it out for Hall. Simmons to Mackay, so they head straight infield. Simmons drives the forwards, straight down the middle, the Bears stood back and waited. And the North City Marcus will have to work overtime here. Now it's Walker, they go away from the post, Geyer floats it for Smith out wide. They look for the try, they had it midfield if they wanted to set for a field goal. They still might. Geyer goes back to the blind side and Paul Smith couple of tackles remaining Carter shows it tries to get it around the back does it go back it does Alexander looked at the referee looked as if he was waiting for a decision now there's a penalty Eddie Ward is calling a couple of bears over who have had plenty to say A warning to Conlon about being sent off for back chatting. Now the penalty going against McPhail. Alexander, three from four. His kicking is the difference at the moment. The scores are locked together, but Halligan hasn't been able to put the chances over. Again, Alexander handles the pressure from the crowd to put his... Minor Premier's in front, 16 to 14. They get into Penrith territory. Still a long, long way to go. McPhail getting it to Hall. The Panthers are offside. Halligan will have a kick at goal. Three minutes to go. And the man who's done it all season long for Norths has not been on his game today. Nearly 39,000 at the stadium. Hold your breath. No! So it's not Halligan's day and it might not be the Bears' day. 16-14, Penrith over the Bears.